Hello everyone, uh, I am Alam Gurusen. Uh, this video I will show some basic plots using Octav. Okay, so this is my Jupyter notebook plots. So uh, I need a plot, GNU plot, this. Then, okay, so for example, if we want to draw the sin x uh, uh, using the line space function, we can define this x x vector from minus 4 to 4 pi to 4 pi, and it will, uh, this 100 means like it will take 100 points. So we can we can plot sin x. right okay so yeah this is the plot now we can use the x level and y level x axis level and y axis level so we can write this x, x level is like x axis y level is like y axis and we can write the title of this plot and we can also define the axis so this uh, minus 12 to 1, 12 is like the x-axis and minus point, uh, 1.5, 1.5 is the y-axis, okay. So in here, this x-axis and y-axis and this is a sign function, this is the title and the axis from minus 12 to 12 and y-axis from minus 1.5 to 1.5, okay. So this is the simple function, okay. And we can we can use uh, we can show uh, some plots in a same in a same plot so we can use the hold on for example so in here x in line space x is defined from minus 3 to 3 then y is like x function and x cube y 2 x cube and y 3 x to the 5 then uh, okay, say for example, uh, then only for this, just y equals to x, right? So this is the only function. Uh, uh, then we can write, okay, so the hold on, uh, we can write the hold on and we can write for y2, this is the green one, the second one, and so two functions, right? So red one is y equals to x, the green one is y equals to x cube and we can do it repeatedly and we can also use the x level and y level and we can also use the plot title uh, yeah so now it's a three three functions x x cube and x to the five graph and we can also use the legend so that is listen say x y equals to x y equals to x square and y is equals x cube so then we can see uh, the listen in your in the graph so, yeah this is like so y equals to x y equals to x square and y equals to x cube we can also use the subplot for example subplot in here okay so in here this is like a 2 by 2 matrix so this is the 2 uh, 2 1 sorry this is the 1 1 like this is the first 1 2 3 4 right so this subplot uh, so this is the y1 is a sin x y2 is cos x y3 is e to the power x y4 is cos hyperbolic x this is the four functions so the subplots you can define like 2 2 is like the 2 by 2 matrix so 1 is the first one and this 2 is the second one and 3 is the third one 4 is the fourth one and this r means like the red g means like the green b means blue k means black and you can use some other thing like okay if i write like 0 o it will be like this this symbol okay all right this is the subplot that is we can use the subplot and we can we can draw the graphs okay so next uh, some uh, some 2d graphs 
for example so for 2d that is we need to define a mesh say x and y is like the line space from minus 8 to 8 we are taking 41 points so then we can define a mesh grid and then we can define a function for 2d uh, two independent variables like then we can define here the another function so yeah that's a nice nice graph okay so the first one is the mesh plot this one also i also used in here subplot two two one so this is the mesh plot and then this is the surface plot for r so r is the sine r by r so then we also include here some little value because we are uh, dividing by r so it, it causes a problem because if it's become zero zero right so that's why we uh, include some value because it, it will be undefined in here this function and this is the contour f so this contour f uh, so we can see the contour plot this is the only contour so just contour line and this is the contour f for field field plot and this 5 is like 5 contour so if you use 10 so it will be 10 contour for example 10 10 yeah so now the 10 contours in here uh, so now it's uh, 10 contours in here so yeah uh, that's it for uh, some basic plots so you can now plot some other functions and also you can use another different types of functions for plotting the graphs for showing your results for showing your uh, data uh, thank you for watching this video